new year, new intro. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the One Star Week Foot Show. Welcome. Welcome to the One Star Week Foot Show. Hello. We got player reviews and we got much more. We do. We got player reviews and we got much more. And I review players all the time, dog. Dog, dog. Everyone is fire like a Yule log. Fire, fire. We trying to get some views like a blind man. I can't see. Shout out to my subs. They are gang, gang. Gang, gang. Good evening and welcome to the One Star Week Foot Show. Your one stop shop for player reviews. I'm going to be your host today, One Star Week Foot, and it makes me flutter with joy inside. See you back on the channel. Um, in all seriousness though, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are all staying safe in the midst of this coronavirus scare. And yo, we're gonna be talking about some prime icon swaps today. And the one we're gonna be focusing on is gonna be this 93 rated Burkham. I mean, when you look at this card, he looks like he has all the makings of an end game card. He's six foot tall. He has medium, medium work rates, which probably means his best position is gonna be Cam. He's right footed with a four star, four star combination. I played, I know it says seven games there, but I played five games in the Risen Rivals. I got eight goals and one assist. And the reason why it says seven games is because people are relegating left and right. And it was, it was tough because um, I'm also using a lone Kaka in order to try him out to give you guys an idea of how he's playing. And because of the relegators, I did not get my full money's worth on that loan. But it is what it is. Um, if you're into this content, if you want to see more content like this, please do me a favor and hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate all you guys at home for watching this video once again. So, when you look at this Bird Camp card, I mean, what does he bring to your side? Is he living up to the Bird Camp name? I know a lot of you guys at home might be watching this review because you're a Bird Camp fan and yeah, he looks like a very nice card. I mean, his pace has been massively upgraded on his other versions. 86 pace is not that top tier speed. He's not going to be a speed demon. He's not going to be Mbappe, but he will have enough pace to hold his own, hopefully. His shooting stats are what really, really draw me to this card. I mean, look at that. 99 attack positioning, 98 finishing, 97 shot power. His lowest stat is 90 long shots. I mean, that is absolutely insane. These are team of the year, team of the season level stats. His passing stats are very nice as well. 92 vision, 92 short passing, look amazing. His 78 short passing is something that makes a lot of people pissed off at home because as you guys know, Bergkamp was a great passer of the ball. Is 78 passing really what he deserves? Probably not, but we're gonna see if it affects him in game. His dribbling stats are massive as well. 99 ball control, 99 composure. I mean, I'm, I'm just getting tired of seeing the word 99. Um, 98 reactions, 93 dribbling. The one thing I'm worried about here is his agility and balance. So I did throw an engine camp style on him. His physical stats are very nice as well. I mean, obviously 83 stamina is not top tier, but everything else is nice. 79 strength, 75 aggression at six foot tall should give him some strength to ride challenges. And his 80 jumping is a nice thing to have as well. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you over to our review specialist in the studios. One Star Weekfoot, take it away. Thanks, One Star. So according to Footbin, this card's gonna be costing you 1.6 million coins on the PS4 market. Alternatively, he will be costing you 16 icon swaps. Is he worth the money? Is he worth the icon swaps? And I would have to say absolutely on both regards. I'm gonna break down the stats so you see exactly what to expect at home. So first off, we're gonna be talking about his pace, 86 pace. How does it feel in game? And um, yeah, I wouldn't expect him to be an Mbappe. I wouldn't expect him to be a Neymar. I wouldn't expect him to be coming out of um, skill moves excessively well but at the same time he does have a nice um unexpected acceleration when coming out of certain skill moves like the heel to heel and i think i attribute a lot of that to his dribbling um as far as getting in behind i wouldn't really have him do it i mean he'll be able to do it from time to time but i wouldn't really make that consistently his instruction um but otherwise i would say his pace is fine i gotta give it an 8.5 out of 10. next we'll be talking about shooting and by George, this guy's shooting is amazing. Um, he lives up to every ounce of his stats. And sometimes you have players on this game that have amazing finishing, amazing shot power, but in game, they're just not having that sauce. This bird cam card was actually a game changer finishing wise, all right? The first thing that'll stand out to you is his 99 attack positioning and in game, this guy's attack positioning was the lovely. He just always ends up in dangerous positions and he always ends up open. I mean, sometimes I was questioning myself when I was passing the ball to him. I was like, yo, 
Is he offside? Next thing you know, he's running to the corner flag. He's celebrating. He's already scored the goal. His attack positioning was lovely. His finishing was so, so reliable. And because he had the shot power at 97, I mean, his finishing and shot power together make his shot impossible to save. If you get it from a good angle, if you're um, at that near post angle, you just bang that shot and he's going to hit that shot almost every single time. He has an absolute game changing shot. And what really separates him from the other players on this game that have similar finishing stats is that in the delayed gameplay, in the tight games, when you need a half chance scored, when you need somebody to create a goal out of nothing, this Burkham card is going to do it for you. I mean, there were certain games where the delayed gameplay was so bad that none of my players were playing well. Out of nowhere, this Burkham card would just appear, score a goal, win me the game. And I really attribute that to his really high finishing stats, his really high attack positioning stats. And overall, I got to give this guy shooting a 10 out of 10. He has one of the best, most broken shots I have felt on this game. Next, we will be talking about his passing. And you might be bringing this Burkham into play cam. I think that would be my choice as far as his best position. And in game, this guy is a very good playmaker of the ball. Um, first off, we're going to talk about talk about his vision and short passing it's 92 and 92 respectively and in game this guy in the tight areas around the box when you need him to make a very accurate ball in the midst of many defenders he's going to be able to hit that ball pick that pass out and set other people up to succeed his long passing at 78 i did not notice to be an issue at all i mean i have to add a disclaimer that I did add um an engine chem style to him which made his long passing 86 and in game this guy's long passing was very nice um, he had really the full array um, of passing um, capabilities. I mean, he's able to long pass, short pass, pass under pressure, pass under no pressure, pass off balance. This guy's passing is off the charts. And overall, I got to give his passing a 9 out of 10. Next, we'll be talking about this guy's dribbling. And this was the biggest question mark I had about this card. I mean, is he going to be able to deliver in the tight gameplay, in the delayed gameplay? And overall, I got to say, he definitely proved me wrong. I thought he was going to feel clunky. I thought he was going to feel mediocre on the ball in the late gameplay. And he didn't overall. I mean, overall in the late gameplay, he didn't feel as good as he does in the non-delayed gameplay. But at the same time, his dribbling stats overcame. I would say his ball control at 99, his composure at 99 really helped him in many situations. He really got a lot of the 50-50 balls. There were certain times where I thought I was going to lose the ball, but he would just morph through the opponent. Like the opponent would tackle him, get the ball, and he would just go right through him. And next thing you know, he had the ball, he's scoring. Um, and I think he's more agile and um, everything like that than you would expect. Because when you see him in game, he's six foot tall. He's not the smallest, most agile looking player. But in game, he's able to pull off some moves that you wouldn't really expect for somebody of his stature. Now, what I will say is that do not compare him to shorter players. Do not compare him to Neymar. Do not compare him to Mbappe. Do not compare him to um, Garincha. He's not going to feel quite like that on the ball. But for a six foot player, he's very nice on the ball. He's a lot better than other six foot players on the ball. And um, because of his dribbling stats, if you know what you're doing, you'll be able to keep possession with him no issues i gotta give his dribbling a nine out of ten the only thing that'll really make his dribbling better is just making him shorter but that's not possible so for his height i think it's the best it's gonna get finally we'll be talking about his physical and this is something that really made him more press, press resistant than other players of his height or other players on this game because he has 79 strength 75 aggression he's six foot tall he's not the smallest player in the game and um if you find that you're not able to dribble through certain areas all you gotta do is tap the l2 button tap the shield button he's gonna be able to knock the defender off and really hold possession for the extra second to create the angle to pass to create the angle to shoot i can't underestimate um how good that was to have on the card his 83 stamina of course kind of sucks i mean he lasts 90 minutes at the camp position nothing more nothing less but if you play him striker he should last all game he's jumping at 80 i didn't really get to utilize i don't really think it's a big deal overall i gotta give his physical an 8 out of 10 all right guys what's the final verdict on this card i think this card is definitely an end game card i mean because of his finishing his attack positioning um his passing capabilities he's just so clinical in and around the box he's so able to really manufacture chances for his his his, his other players on his team I think he's a game changer of a card. I think for 16 icon swaps, you can't go wrong. I think he's better than other cards in that range. I think he's better than Kaká. I played both of them on the same team. I definitely prefer him to Kaká. I think he's better than Rush. I think he's probably the best icon swap as far as value that you will get in this set. Um, would I pay 1.6 million? I think he's not a bad value at that price. Uh, he was much better than other icons uh, or other moments icons I've tried in that range. I really, really rate this card. And overall, I got to give him a 9.5 out of 10. I definitely think he's a must-try card. I definitely think he's a good unlock. 
All right, guys, so that's going to be my Moments Bird Camp review. Hopefully, you guys at home found that helpful. Once again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, but until then, deuces.